Okay, I want to say hello again everybody. It's only me, Wushu Richard. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you some more techniques. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you some more martial arts techniques. Very simple stuff, okay? I'm just talking about the basic stance and the basic guard, okay? And what I'll do is I'll throw in, a, I'll show you how to like get some good cover, some basic blocks, some basic punches. It's a video I wanted to make before, but um, it kind of messed up, so I'm doing it again, okay? Let's have a look. So basically, in a basic fighting stance, you just take a step back in a basic fighting stance facing you first of all, okay, for the camera. You just step back, take a bit of um, a wide step back, not so wide, just a, a shoulder width apart, but like you step back and bring one hand up in front, one hand up behind you, be guard, guarding back here, and one in front. On the side, it's like this, on the side, you're like this, okay, and of course, either side. Now, what you do is, okay, um, you want to cover. You want to make sure you can cover with your hands and your arms. So sometimes you'll bring your hands in more closer like this. You'll bring them closer like boxing, bring your hands in, covering by your face. You have open hands maybe, maybe fists. You're covering here. Your elbows can cover too and guard your body here close by, okay? If someone's going to um, throw some punches, you need to be able to cover. So you bring in your hands close here to protect your body, or maybe by the side here to protect your gut area. Okay, and also you can block out, for example, like blocking out, bringing your hand out to the side like here, facing you now. For example, if someone was to throw a swing punch, I could block here, bring my hand out from here, or here and, and cover, or keep it close and just cover like that. But the most important thing is you're covering, so don't to, don't let these punches come in. If you want to train with your train with somebody at home, be careful on that, and like um, take it easy. You know, you can um, work some drills with your, with someone at home, like a friend or something. You can practice walking. Someone might punch, and you might step back. Or forward and work and try to like cover you know if someone goes for a straight punch to your face punching to your face or your body you can cover with your hands you know patting it away like um, deflecting the punches will come or just cover here covering they might end up punching your elbow and busting their own hand up you know hurting themselves so it's a good cover right so covering with your hands close if it comes to your body here, again, same thing, you can cover with your, gut, with your body here, or you can block down low here, or block up high. So you've got the high cover and the low cover, and close by your body here or your face, you're carrying away what's coming. You can also block out too. For if someone's going to push you or punch you to your face, you can also cover here with your hands to do outer blocks like this, just covering on the outside too, thing like this. You come straight, you can step to the side and move away. So the important thing I'm saying is get a base, stand strong with your base, your legs there, spread a bit out, step back, keep your hands up as a guard, and just cover on your center line here, in between, and on the outside if anything's coming. Keep your hands up as a guard always, no matter what. And you can also come in with your own palms and attacks too, don't forget. Okay, now let's look at two simple um, methods of, of attacking. Okay, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll, I'll show you an elbow as well, just an inner elbow, just for the sake of it, okay? To show you another technique. Um, I'll show you a few. No, I'll show you a few punches. I'll show you three punches and one elbow. How about that? And a palm. Okay. So you've got the basic idea of guarding. Yeah. Watch that video. Watch those blocks again, okay? In the video, I'll cover more on blocks in future videos too. What you do is basically, as I've said, you can um, you can punch out. Just do basic punches from the back or the front hand, like a basic jab, cross kind of boxing, kind of punching here. You can also do that to the gut, lower. You can do it more straight if you wish to, or you can turn as you're going in. Like this is a very rough, okay, just watch these characters. I'm doing it, turning my hips as I'm going to my shoulder, punching. For the swing punch, you can come in and hook, hook like that, hook around, swing like that around, or keep it straight, it's up to you how you do it. Same thing, you can turn on the ball of your foot there, on the ball, lifting the heel up, on the back foot as you go around, keep it solid, those kind of things. You can also do palms, okay? that's, just a, that's just a jab, a cross, a swing, you can work combinations. You can palm to the face, coming straight through and palming off the front of the back hand, with the whole body mechanics in there, keeping things strong, okay? Plus you can do moves such as covering, blocking and hitting, you know, or blocking and hitting if you need to cover, let's say. You might want to parry your punch and go straight in. You don't say you might block down, someone hit my body, I might block down, kick to the face here. So you're using your arms to cover, where necessary, just blocking it across, you see, covering your butt, and you're hitting the open areas, Op open them up, hitting, let's say, for example, you see what I'm saying, so with the palms or the punches, you can do either way. Also, back fist, the back fist, you can whip that out to the side, coming across to the head here, to the, to the, the back, coming across here, okay, or from here, you can do that too, okay, hitting, snapping it out. And uh, one more I'll show you is the inner elbow, okay, so I'm showing you kind of rough here, this is a quick video, but you can watch it again, I'll put these in slow motion again too, so you can see clearly, okay. 
So the elbow, it's the same thing. You can turn here to turn an elbow stroke with a flat palm, not the point. Just coming in, okay? Here with the hips turning, you can do that. I'm lifting my heel up on the back foot here for the turn go in. For power, don't lean over, keep strong, solid, bang it in, okay? Keeping your guard up the whole time too. I may want to even grab an arm and say, he might come to grab me, I might grab his arm and then smash in with that. Use my whole body power. From the other hand, it's the same thing. I can even block here if someone's going to hit me, swing, I can cover here and hit him with this elbow. Or to the jaw or the head, or go low to the gut or ribs, you know. I might, he might you know, come in and try to push me. I might even step back and grab his hand and pull it in and smash that over there. Or grab that arm and smash. So I'm using my elbows also. But remember to always use your elbows and bring them back in and your hands for a cover too and a guard. Okay, so these are some basic techniques. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been useful. Also, remember to practice moving around too, like walking and taking steps back and changing your guard and moving all around and following. And you can practice drills like that with a, with a partner too. I will show more in future videos too. But I mean, you can do things like that too, where you've got a friend or a partner where you can walk around and like mirror each other. You know, and just like try and copy each other's moves. Like if, if the opponent changes on the right stance, I might change to the left. You know, you, you try and copy, you know, mirror the opponent. That's a good training you can do. It helps with your coordination too. You know, but most importantly though is to get the techniques right. Work the out, work the lines, you know, the center line. Work all the open areas where you're going to hit to body, head, and learn how to cover against those. Keep good base, you know, and have good power and speed in your technique because you might need to use it in real life. And then the covering and blocking too, that, I mean, that's really, really important. Keep your heart, hands up always because you can't just get, you can easily get clocked and taken out, you know. So remember that. And when you do go in and attack, make sure you've got good cover and make sure you go accurate and surprise them and attack. Because I'm not promoting violence, but in self defense, you've got to explode it and go in, you know, when you're with your techniques and mean business. If you've got a bag, uh, sorry, a punch bag or something, you can train your power on that too. And also, another bit of advice I'll give you is work all your footwork, your whole body mechanics, your attacks, like I say, your punches, your kicks, everything, your upper body attacks, and also your kicks from your legs. Work it all in. Knees, elbows, kicks, hand punches, whatever the hell, you know, all, work it all in there, okay? And then blocking and stuff you need to work at. Look in the mirror too and watch, look at the cover and think about how to cover with your two hands. Don't cross yourself up like this and that. Keep your hands free and just move around and think about the moves. Don't feel like it's stupid or it's ridiculous to do. This is real good training, okay? Boxers, shadow box, you've got to work it in. Your boxing, all your martial arts, all your working in, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say there. Thanks for watching, okay? Martial arts forever. Thank you for watching. Train hard and stay safe.